here. Well, folks, welcome to um, my sort of behind the scenes off my video today. Um, I'm using the GoPro to do the main spits, but I'm doing a little behind the scenes thing. Now, what's oh, happened yeah. here is um, that we've been to Little Adelie's because Bro wanted to go and get some shoes, right? And some waterproof Fuck trousers. So here they are, folks. So there we go. $15.99 from Aldi's. And we've bought some waterproof trousers as well for, well, we know it's going to be a horrific winter, so we thought we may as well prepare ourselves. So we've dug deep into the spiz budget and bought a couple of bits and pieces. Yes. So, But Bro says, oh, these shoes are a bit feeble. No, uh, I'm not meant no. low. Oh, they're okay though, are they? Yeah, they're comfortable. Right. Okay. But they're just low. So Compared we're, we're off on our adventure today, folks. So stay with us. We're all gloved up and ready to go. Oh, dead badger, folks. Oh dear. Yeah, so dead badger. Or there's a car well, coming, folks. We're having a bit of a situation here because we can't really find this stone circle thing. Situation. And we're lost. We're, we're parked beside sort of like some dumping mm. area. And, and the new just, dump, I think. We just don't know where this stone circle is. So we're going to have a little recce, a little recce of the village once again. Yes. Oh, hello. Right, well, that, oh. that lady there thought we actually had to buy the house, folks. But uh, so seemingly the, uh, the stone circle is in a state of disrepair at the moment. Um... Now, it, it never used to be here. It used to live live over at um, the Brunton Hill sort of side. So for some reason, it got moved over here. Now, when we get there, I'll tell you more about it. Are you in there, bro? Hey, folks, I found a nice big dollop of fungi right there. Look at that. And over there as well. See it? Right there. Nice example, fungi. Some sort of mound here as well. There's been some sort of wall by the looks of things. And you can just see a bro splotting away there. Now this double circle stone circle here, concentric. Now on the outside you'll notice we have 32 stones. You can count the, them. And in the middle we have 16. Now the interesting thing here, bro, is the inner circle mm -hmm. is made from sandstone which had to be transported from Cooper, which is seven miles away. Okay. The outside circle was made by, um, with the local stone, which is called Winston. Okay. So why did they transport it all the way from Cooper for the inside circle, but not for the outside one? And the one that was in the middle, that was also sandstone as well. And then the middle bit here, <laughs> you can't see it now. I've got a picture which I shall put up now. They found these little flagstones with symbols on it. <coughs> they had um, a cartwheel, spade, shoes, and they also found right here the remains of a dead body, a burnt body, Ooh. and some charcoal well, right here, right here and some bones as well. So they don't know whether this is the burial place or the cremation place of a, a chieftain, some important chap, or was there actually a human sacrifice carried out Maybe. right here. Now, seemingly this isn't the exact location where they first came across it, in Luthrie, back in 1846, some workmen, um, they discovered it, but for some reason it got moved up here to this more prominent position. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, the stone circle here, double stone circle here at Brunton. Now, on the spizometer, well, I did enjoy doing the research for this, and as you can see, it is quite, um, well, just a bit shoddy at the minute, isn't it? So, but what can you say? It's still a very interesting, because you don't often see a double stone circle. So for that reason alone, folks, this is going to get on the spizzle today a 6 out of 10. Oh, that's quite a good mark. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, so why the stone circle was moved from its original place, I know not, I'm afraid, but there's definitely some signs of there's been a wall here and sort of some other sort of structures here. Um, it's quite unusual to find a double stone circle in this day and age, so therefore I think it has been some sort of just a a cremation spot for a, 
a well a well loved character. Um, it, it could it could actually be Pictish. I'm not too sure because some of the symbols are quite Pictishy, Iron Age, maybe even Romano-British in its design. Um, if you have a close look at the picture that I've uh, that I've put up, but uh, lovely, interesting find. And here we have the sun shining right on the very spot now, coming through the trees. So maybe that's why it was moved here, just to as a as a good spot, a place of significance, nice burial spot here for somebody, or even just a so some sort of pagan ritualistic place. Anyway, wonderful.